सो सर अगेन प्रणाम और सर थैंक यू फॉर हम लोगों की रिक्वेस्ट को लेने के लिए हम लोगों चैनल को फिर से आने के लिए आपका इंट्रोडक्शन देना जरूरी नहीं है हम और हमारे व्यूवर्स आपके बारे में भली भांति जानते हैं और आपने हम लोगों को अपनी नॉलेज से एक नहीं दो नहीं बल्कि दो तीन चार बार आपने हम लोगों को अपनी नॉलेज की ब्लेसिंग दिया हुआ है कि जब आप आते हैं हम लोगों को एक नया व्यू बना के जाते हैं मार्केट में जब मार्केट बहुत ज्यादा गिर रही थी उस टाइम पे भी आपने कहा था डरना नहीं है मार्केट यहाँ से बाउंस करेगा उस टाइम पे भी बाउंस करने की आपने बात मतलब द बेस्ट थिंग इज आप डराते नहीं है आप ऑब्जेक्टिवली पॉजिटिव वे में मार्केट में जो आपका व्यू आप वो बताते हैं तो साथ ही साथ व्यू के साथ साथ आप अपना सेक्टर एनालिसिस भी देते हैं सो सर वी आर ब्लेस्ड फॉर दैट एंड वी आर ग्रेटफुल फॉर दैट और सर वेलकम टू ट्रेडिंग मॉन्स वंस अगेन वंस अगेन हां सर एक बात मैं और कहना चाहूंगा आप तीसरी बार हमारे चैनल पे आ रहे हैं और मैं ये जरूर कहना चाहूंगा कि होता है ना कि हम लोग ब्लेस्ड फील करते हैं कि कोई ऐसा होता है ना कि बड़े का हाथ रहता है साथ में सो इट फील्स सो नाइस कि हां हमारा कोई बड़ा हमारे साथ में एंड वी फील लाइक दैट and i feel ki ye hamare se zyada aapka channel hai and thank you for gracing us once once again and one of the many times again thank you to sir hum log wahi se shuru karte hain jo last time pe jahan pe baat khatam hui thi hum logon ki आपने कहा था आईटी सेक्टर गिरेगा और आईटी सेक्टर में तेजी नहीं होगी एंड वी कैन सी आईटी सेक्टर कहां से कहां पहुंच गया है मतलब किसी मतलब आपने बोला जरूर था कि आईटी में तेजी नहीं होगी मार्केट में कौशन आईटी में कौशन रहना पड़ेगा बट आईटी में हमको लगा था ठीक है लो हायर लो बनाएगा सपोर्ट से ऊपर जाएगा ऐसा नहीं था कि एकदम फ्री फॉल हो जाएगा आई टी में कोई उम्मीद नहीं थी बट सर आपने उस चीज को फोर्स ही किया था सर आगे क्या सबसे पहले हम चीजों को रिवाइंड करते हैं हाँ हाँ सर यस सर पहली चीज क्या है कि आई नेवर स्पीक व्हाट इज माय व्यू आई स्पीक विद ए रीजन रीजन क्या है द रीजन आई टोल्ड यू लास्ट टाइम दैट राहु विल बी ट्रांजिट इन क्रितिका फॉर एट मंथ्स अवर लास्ट इंटरव्यू वाज ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एंड राहु एंटर्ड क्रितिका इन फिफ्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल Kritika is ruled by sun, and sun represents the Nifty. Mm. So see, Rahu is not the only thing. There are multiple things happening, yeah. but Rahu is ultimately the materialistic planet. So you know, you know that top has become with a delay of two weeks, but ultimately for eight months, Nifty. Has come down so many times. Yes, mm-hmm. uh, almost three. It's a zigzag, mm-hmm. not a free fall. Mm-hmm. But because there are so many positives happening in the middle, we have seen Bank Nifty topping out on twenty sixth October last year. Mm-hmm. We have seen PSU Bank making a high around tenth of November last year. Then first fifteen days of January. when the mercury has crossed over to venus we have seen a excellent rally in the market of more than 2500 points in 15 days of uh, first 15 days of january mm. again when mercury came in middle of sun and venus on 24th of january <coughs> again we have seen a good rally till 10th of february again when there was a mars and saturn uh, together we have again seen a rally in march so you know yes. this entire fall in nifty is orchestrated by rahu okay. now rahu represents whom rahu represents the it sector and cryptocurrencies mm. and these are the two things i specifically warned yes in end of september that don't get carried away because you know the our market system is that that 90% of influential people will give you a buy only in it mm. and some day they will say buy scl tech some day they will buy tcs some day they will buy infosys some day they will say buy mindtree see they don't want to speak anything out of syllabus 
there is so much of safety net they are creating hmm. and what now has happened once saturn entered aquarius it has a third aspect on rahu okay. and third aspect of saturn is highly negative so what you have seen in a free fall in the it okay. if you see from january it has topped the december it topped out from 39000 it came to 33000 again went to 36500 or 36700 but thereafter what you have seen is a free fall that free fall the reason is aspect of saturn on rahu okay. now today to sir ek bar aapko interrupt karenge to थोड़ा से पीछे चलते हैं क्योंकि आप फ्लो में आगे हो जाएंगे फिर पीछे जाना मुश्किल हो जाएगा तो अभी आपका ये कहना था जब राहु कृतिका के नक्षत्र में यानी सन के सन जिसका रूलिंग डीटी है उसके नक्षत्र में गया था तो मार्केट में जो बेरिश फेस था वो इसकी स्टार्ट हुई थी राइट right. और बीच बीच में हम लोगों के बुलिश कुछ कुछ सिनेरियो पॉजिटिव सिनेरियो आए थे जैसे कि सन सन और मरकरी का सन वीनस के बीच में आना सैटन और मार्स का एक साथ होना और फिर से अभी जैसे रिसेंटली सैट मरकरी सन वीनस के बीच में है इस टाइम पे तो उस वो बीच बीच में जो बुलिश सिनेरियो थे बट ओवरऑल जो पिक्चर थी एक जो बड़ा पिक्चर था वो बोल रहा था आपके अकॉर्डिंग बेरिश था जस्ट बिकॉज राहु वॉज इन सन के नक्षत्र इन कृतिका नक्षत्र राइट ओके okay. और फिर आपने बताया कि जो जब सैटन अपना राशि चेंज किया अपना जोड़िया चेंज किया था जब वो एक्वेरियस में गया था तो उसका थर्ड एस्पेक्ट राहु के ऊपर था और आपने बताया कि सैटन का थर्ड एस्पेक्ट इज बियरिश तो सर ये राहु मतलब सैटन किसी भी प्लैनेट पे थर्ड एस्पेक्ट देगा तो वो उस रिलेटेड की सारी चीज को बियरिश कर देगा कि जिस इज फॉर राहू सैटन जिस भी प्लेनेट के ऊपर थर्ड एस्पेक्ट करेगा उस प्लेनेट से रिलेटेड सेक्टर्स को डाउन कर देगा अच्छा तो आ, तो यानी इसकी वजह से जो सन एक्वेरियस में जब सैटन जब गया था उसका थर्ड एस्पेक्ट राहु में पड़ा था उसकी वजह से क्रिप्टो और आईटी बिकॉज राहु क्रिप्टो आईटी ये सारे चीजों को रूल करता है इसमें उसमें बहुत तेजी से मंदी आई हुई थी तो सर अगर ये देखा जाए तो सन सैटन जो है एक्वेरियस में बहुत टाइम तक रहेगा अभी कैप्रिकॉन में जाएगा दो चार छह दिन बाद बट उसके बाद वापस से जब एक्वेरियस में आएगा और राहु भी लगभग लगभग दो साल रहता है अपने कोई भी एक साइन पर रहता है तो यानी ये जो आई में जो बियर का ट्रेंड है काफी लंबा लंबा होगा जी उसी पे मैं आ रहा था हाँ। आज अभी शनि जो है वक्री हो गया तो नाउ व्हेन द सेटन इज रेट्रोग्रेड द थर्ड एस्पेक्ट इज ओवर नाउ इट विल हैव द टेंथ एस्पेक्ट ऑफ राहु अच्छा एंड टेंथ एस्पेक्ट ऑफ राहु इज पॉजिटिव ओ सॉरी टेंथ एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सेटन इज पॉजिटिव अच्छा ओके सो देयर विल बी अ सी चेंज इन द सेंटीमेंट एंड वेदर क्रिप्टो और आईटी विल हैव सम पीस सम स्टेबिलिटी नाउ व्हाट हैपेंस द राहु विल लीव कृतिका ऑन 14th ऑफ जून एट 10 एएम हम्म सो वंस Rahu leaves Kritika and comes in Bharni. So Bharni is ruled by Venus. Venus. So you know Rahu. What Rahu does? Rahu basically, you know, gives a positive support to the uh, sectors of the planet in whose nakshatra it is sitting. Okay. So what will happen? Once Rahu enters Bharni, in Rahu in Bharni will be eight months. Mm-hmm. Out of the eight months, the first six months it is positive. The last two months it is negative. The reasons I'll tell you later. So the sector of Venus will get a support. Which are the sectors of Venus? All the cosmetics, FMCG, textiles. Uh, automobile psu banks they are all sectors ruled by venus now rahu has the basically three dimension one is in whose sign it is sitting it is sitting in the sign of mars 
so it will support the sector ruled by mars okay. and mars is you know anything any manufacturing process where the use of power is there is hmm. covered by mars so real estate sugar ye sab mars mein aayenge real estate metal everything sugar okay. uh, uh, everything comes in mars mars has a very wide uh, you know range okay okay then is hund nakshatr it is coming it is bullish for the sector ruled by that lord of that nakshatra hmm. and third is in what d9 it is coming in the namaz chart okay. so basically if you see the this journey from 13th april to 14th june june rahu was in sagittarius in d9 hmm. now sagittarius ruled by jupiter yeah. and jupiter has enmity with rahu so you know so many time the bank nifty has tried to come up but rahu did not allow it to rise and make a higher high so what will happen once rahu leave sagittarius on 14th of june the banks will start making the higher highs okay hmm. and once rahu is out of kritika the nifty will start making higher highs it will get rahu will get the 10th aspect of saturn so for the short term the pain is it is over or will be over by 14th of june okay hmm okay now yani sir jab saturn ek bar wapas vakriyo ke capricorn ke andar aa jayega to teji aur badh jayega matlab abhi bullish scenario rahu ke sahi raha hai बट जब सैटन की उसमें टेंथ एसेट पड़ेगा जब वो कैप्रिकॉन पे आएगा तो तेजी और भी बढ़ जाएगी बुलिश प्लस बुलिश अच्छा अभी सैटन एक्वेरियस में ही है हाँ। और सैटन 12 जुलाई तक एक्वेरियस में ही है रिट्रोग्रेड में तो जब वो कैप्रिकॉन में जाएगा तब उसका टेंथ एस्पेक्ट राहु के ऊपर आएगा बारह जुलाई से बराबर है बारह जुलाई से लेकर के एंड देट विल बी टिल 23rd of october hmm. when the saturn will go direct okay. so in this period of 12th july to 22nd october, october hmm. it and crypto both will show a uptrend okay that is the very first thing but that is 12th of july coming to banking the negativity will be over once rahu moves out of sagittarius in d9 on 14th of july the sector ruled by venus will get the support of rahu from 14th of june so 14 june is the most important date now what is the importance of 14 june technically i'll tell you coming week is a 34th week from the high of 18650 uh, 630 down on 18th of october so it is a fibonacci time cycle hmm. so whatever fall we get next week will be the last and final or it can extend by one day on 13th of june that is the very first thing second thing next week is also 89th week from the low of 10800 down on 25th of september 2020 so that is again a, and you know this is called the cycle junction when the two cycle merge at a particular time that time becomes very very significant now currently what is happening on 23rd of may mercury entered uh, in middle of sun and venus so the, so basically market had tried to come up but the main problem rahu in kritika is not allowing it to make a higher high that is why we see the, we are seeing the oh, regular the selling coming on high prices hmm. whenever market moves up there is a selling pressure hmm. 
Rally is coming. Continue for a last Friday, yesterday, there were a lot of positive yokes. Hmm. But there was only one negative. That negative was what? Rahul. It was Nakshatra of Jupiter on Friday. So Venus and Jupiter are not friends. Whenever there is a Nakshatra of Jupiter on Friday or a Nakshatra of uh, Venus on fr- Thursday, there is always a high selling pressure. And otherwise also it's very simple. Indian market whenever opened higher by 150 or 200 points, rarely they survive. They never survive. The position, the mindset is like that in India. Because there is always a risk. And there is a logic also behind that. Then it becomes high probable. Now coming to the next week. Next week, the first three days are not so negative. On the contrary, 8th of June is a high positive day. Okay. Now, what is happening? Yesterday, Jupiter entered in Libra in D9. Saturn is already sitting. So, Jupiter-Saturn conjunction is always positive. See, but daily yoke keep coming in the positive time frame. There will be negative yoke where there will be a fall. In the negative time frame, there will be the positive yoke where there will be a rise. So that keeps happening. But the high probable days next week are two. One is 8th of June, which hmm. is very positive day. And another is 10th of June, which is a very negative day. Now, why 10th of June is very negative? Because very first thing, next Friday is Ekadashi. Second thing, there is a Chaitithi on Friday in bright fortnight, which is, a, which is again negative. And third thing, it is end of two cycles, 34 and 89 weeks. So it's high probable that we will make a low on Friday. The closing on Friday will be the lowest of the day, most probably. Sure. Sir, on 8th of June, DL and LV, sir. Yeah. See, 8th of June, there are a lot of positive. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what are the positives on 8th of June. Plus, Moon in Uttara, Falguni. So, on both count, it is a high positive day. There will be a very good rally on 8th of June. So we will have a probably gap up also, but not a big gap up like Friday. See, when there is a normal gap up of 50, 60 point market always rises, mm-hmm. provided it maintains the you know first 30 minutes low. Now, coming to technical position. Right now, we are in fourth wave from the low of 7,511. I don't believe this is the second wave. My funda is very clear. We are in the fourth wave of smaller dimension. Hmm. In the wave one of the bigger dimension. Why? Because the zigzag fall hardly come in second wave. They usually come in the fourth wave. So we are in the fourth wave, which will end on or before 14th of June. From there, or see, maybe the bottom is already done on 24th of May. That is high probable, provided we hold here that, you know, support area of 16,350 to 400. So unless we breach there, that area, there is not much danger on the bigger form, of the bigger form. So, because 9th and 10th, both are negative days, but 10th is a bigger negative. Okay. 
and that is expected also by end of the cycle you will always get a fall only usually when market is in the already in the fourth wave and the fifth wave to start either it has already started from 15635 or we will start now from 14 making a air bottom we start on 15th or oh, sorry 14th of june so from here till year end the setup is very positive um oh. till december now entire period cannot be just positive every day or every week okay. there will be negative time in that so i am connecting to geopolitics hmm. in july mars and rahu will be together from 17 july to 5th of august that is a uh, time when we can have some negative geopolitical events and it is high probable this event could be about our neighbor let us not name anyone we should avoid it something big is going to happen in our neighboring country completely unexpected so there are five neighboring countries aur sab mein aag lagi hui hai bada hoga actually so we have to be cautious from the direction bada dijiye upar wala ki aise wala aise wala ki aise wala will sir edit will sir will sir edit it out edit it out neighbor ke naam pe to ek hi hai asli ghanesh mitra tha jisse we have got it sir got it so okay. expecting some negative event from mid july till 5th of august mm. so before middle of august see right now we are bullish till 12th of from 14th of june to 12th of july mm. so are you uh, are uh, say, uh, saying about war or something matlab aisa kuch like border cross hone honge aisa kuch ye neighbor apna ho jayega aisa kuch apna ha apna ho jayega ye to positive hua na let us see what happens the problem problem will be the internal there Achha, which will go in favor of india okay और सर एक चीज और बोलेंगे कि आपने कब से बोला था कि रुद्र आएंगे रुद्र आएंगे रुद्र हाँ। आएंगे और ज्ञान बापी में रुद्र आ गए सर मतलब व्हाट काइंड ऑफ फोरसाइट वाज दिस कि हम लोग मतलब आप जब पहली बार हम आपसे मिले तो आपका रुद्र आएंगे मतलब हमको लगा ठीक है कुछ अच्छा होगा कुछ एक अवतार आएगा कुछ ऐसा कुछ होगा मतलब बट किसी ने नहीं सोचा था कि ज्ञान व्यापी मतलब अयोध्या में अपना बनेगा फिर ज्ञान व्यापी वाला भी केस होगा फिर ज्ञान व्यापी में सुप्रीम कोर्ट सर्वे करेगा और वहां से शिवलिंग मिलेगा ऊपर से रियल शिवलिंग जो वहां पे है जो वहां पे वजू करते थे वो वहां पे आए मतलब अमेजिंग फोर साइड सर अमेजिंग सर इसके पीछे की स्टोरी जरूर मैं जानना चाहता हूँ मतलब मैं ज्यादा नहीं समझता हूँ बेसिकली द रुद्र इज मल्टी डायमेंशनल इट इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू वन पर्टिकुलर इवेंट अच्छा रुद्र इज यू नो गेटिंग बैक द ग्लोरी ऑफ अवर सिविलाइजेशन Mm, that is that is what happened actually that is the first start first second you know, start see we just see see i told before also the second mm. term of modi ji will be very very active term mm. you know before there was the election we seen the pulwama event mm. after that we have seen how the terror camps Or destroyed. Busted, mm. Going inside Pakistan. Mm. Next was nobody thought on fifth of August. Government moved the resolution to abolish section three seventy. Mm. And third was the Supreme Court order on Ram Janmu Bhumi mm. on ninth of November. Mm. Thereafter, we have seen the CA. the rules are not here form and you know people are losing hope but everything as a time you will see lot of activity in july completely unactive unexpected events are going to take place in july and the most important part is the connection of rudra with geo global geopolitics uh, 
geopolitics i say the major reason was passage of harshal from bharni the bharni is a very ugra nakshatra its lord is yam and its goddess is kali sir by ugra we means volatile or हर्षल एंटर्ड इन बहनी सो यू नो यू हैव सीन लॉट ऑफ राइट इन यूएस दैट यू नो दैट ब्लैक लाइफ मैटर and how the us presidential election was hijacked in the most shameless manner you have seen the entire you know battery of uh, big tech getting exposed by uh, um, uh, through aligning with one side so you know lot of people you know who used to cover their uh, cover their things by talking sweet getting exposed then you have seen this russia ukraine yeah i was supposed to come on and that. that also happened exactly two days prior to the mars 12 to saturn mars was 12 to saturn from 16 january to 27th of february and this thing happened on night of 23rd of february so there is a possibility that we may get some positive news around the geopolitics on 13 14 uh, june that could be another reason whatever it is we are we are entering into a positive time frame which will be again in five waves we have the first phase till 12th of july positive mm-hmm. then time till first or second week of august negative then we again have a positive time till 22nd of october then again from 23rd october to 22nd november is negative then from 23rd of november to end of december it's positive so overall expect this market to complete the wave 5 by end of december or early january and uh, as far as you know numbers and target is concerned anybody trading in the market knows how to use the fibo ratios hmm. so let us not talk that because what happens sometime last time what happen at 14000 nifty i gave the target of 20400 from 14000 it went to 18650 but people said your target has failed so i don't want to go into the levels hmm. you know everybody should do their homework everybody should work hard for you know earning is everybody's own responsibility is not the our i am just a teacher i am just giving the knowledge hmm. if you can utilize that knowledge to enhance your capability it is good i will be happy for that Mm-hmm. i am not here to give the calls or anything absolutely that is not my job i am a teacher and let me be a teacher only sir ek cheez aur thoda se bare mein kuch jaise jo viewers dekh rahe honge wo soch rahe honge ki bhai bharni ugra hai yam hai aur ye cheez to matlab ki ye jo aap dekh rahe hain ye arg martand ka tarika hai aur this is completely different from the horoscope wala jo thing hota hai right मतलब ये ना लोग सोचे कि किसी को कोई फंड भरनी में है तो ये सोचा अरे बाबर ये मतलब नेगेटिव ना सोचो मून रहा हो ऐसा होगा तो कुछ नहीं सोचो जो अर्ग मार्तरेंट की स्टडी है जियोपॉलिटिक्स और इन सब चीजों के लिए दैट इज डिफरेंट इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ प्लैनेट्स नक्षत्र एंड साइंस और जो डिफरेंट पर्सनल होरोस्कोप ये सब देखा जाता है उसकी स्टडी ही कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट है बेसिकली एक रूल है एस्ट्रोलॉजी का एनी प्लेनेट एनी मेलेफिक प्लेनेट इन द नक्षत्र ऑफ वीनस gets highly activated now if it is good in your horoscope it will give you the good results 
if it is bad in your horoscope it will give you the bad result mm-hmm. so we have seen that when the saturn was passing through purva sala we have seen so many things article 370 ram janam bhumi ca so many things we have seen mm-hmm. and harshal came in bharni i don't take it negative people say negative happened the us election was hijacked for me it is positive because more and pe- more people are getting exposed the world knows today where the big tech stands that is the most positive thing for me today the action of all the big tech are watched globally people don't trust them that is a sea change what was prior to 2020 and after 2020 that is why the 2020 is a milestone mm-hmm. how the narratives are set by one section of the society with the help of big tech that the other side knowing it that is the achievement what is the negative in that there is nothing negative in that and one thing i will tell you people will say sun enter in kritika in october and it has fallen from january but if you see the entrails of nasdaq right from the day one lot of stocks have crashed today today more than 50% of the stocks in nasdaq are quoted at 30 to 40% of their peaks absolutely and 20% of the stocks are quoted at 10 to 20% from their peak that is the power of astrology it is not that on particular day rahu upon this you buy and rahu leave it you, you sell it does not happen that way you have to work hard it's a There holistic lot of picture. you know internals in that hmm. so it is not a easy thing only thing is i am trying to share whatever i know to the best of my ability i am trying to communicate in the most effective manner mm. see the use of one liners is a pure blessings of god kalidas has said in shakuntala to convey the message is more most important if you don't know how to communicate it your knowledge is of no use तो सर जनवरी पीपल से इट इज अब्टल इट इज नॉट सब्टल यू नो आई टेल यू एग्जाम्पल आई टेक ऑन माई ब्रॉडकास्ट ऑन थर्सडे एट टू फोर्टी सिक्स आई रोड देर आर लॉट ऑफ पॉजिटिव योग ऑन फ्राइडे मार्केट विल गो वेरी हाई बट देर विल बी अज सेलिंग प्रेशर फ्रॉम द हाई बाई because there is a nakshatra of jupiter on friday which is negative so you know express the people have to take their decision i have said very clearly the lot of you know issues everybody has in life but un- unless they take the action how will it get resolved anybody says my price has not come still if you are selling in the morning or top and buying in the closing hour you are saving 20 30 rupees of your cost so your cost automatically comes down so money saved is money earned yes so even in loss you reduce your cost is what is most important because you know this particular day this thing will happen damage damage control ho jata hai it's very simple now i am coming to 2023 okay the saturn now this is very vital part saturn will enter or oh, sorry saturn will go direct on 23rd of october okay so one saturn go direct on 23rd of october it will it will have third aspect on jupiter also 
the mercury will be moving toward venus from 23rd october and it will it, it will be combust for a more than 30 days so that is negative so the first negative will impact will come on banks okay uh, sir uh, but uh, uh, you said in one of the last of our videos that uh, if uh, bank banks are the last a uh, nail in the coffin if banks right. started to rally it is end of the rally if uh, banks started to fall it is end of the fall but how right. come this will happen at first now see yeah that is what i am saying yeah. that the venus uh, sorry rahu in bharni hmm. will help the psu banks to come up okay in in this period in this for, after june 20 uh, 14th after, after period june. yeah yeah and then we use the sarvato bhadra chakra so the rahu will do the ved of three nakshatra left right and opposite in the next eight months anuradha anuradha is ruled by saturn so the sector of saturn will get a big boost and which are the real estate saturn of sector like realty cement uh, iron and steel all these sector will get a big boost Well, okay. Saturn to the Ved of Anuradha. Okay. Then Saturn will do the Ved of Kritika. Rahu will do so the Ved of. There will be big boom in Nifty. Sir, Rahu will do Ved of Kritika, na? Ah, Rahu will do the Ved of Kritika. Hmm. So there will be boom in Nifty. And the third nakshatra is Maga, which is ruled by Ketu. So there will be, you know, sectors of Ketu like spirituality. a lot of things which will get a boost so the rahu in bharni is going to be very very important mm. and secondly there is a rule rahu oh, sorry when there is any other malefic planet with harshal it is high bullish for sugar so sugar will again restart from 14th of july because the rahu and harshal will be together for a long time 14 so july or june 14 14 july yeah okay oh, sorry 14 june june again i'm i'm, I'm doing the mistake 14 june okay 14 june once rahu enter bharni the harshal and rahu conjunction will also happen hmm. so what seen? about the pending volatility ki Everything is happening so fast. कि 16,400 से 800 एकदम से आ गया, 700 से 400 एकदम से पहुंचा, 15,700 से 16,400 एकदम से पहुंचा, 16,400 से 800 आ गया. अब 800 का अगर आप हम ग्लोबल देखें, तो वो फिर से 400 के पास पास कर दो. Everything is happening so fast. So what do you uh, think about the pending volatility? See, in this entire period of Rahu passing through Prithika, the volatility has kept high, high higher than yeah. 20 yeah. for all the eight months. Yeah. Hmm. Plus, you know, whenever the mercury goes negative, it uh, add the fuel to the fire. Hmm. So that in May that was also bad. Hmm. So that May, has, you know, and the May fall was very simple. That time only I have said I have said that May there will be a fall because May was a very specific event. Whenever the Venus is ahead of Jupiter in the same sign, the markets are negative. Okay. So that was from first of May till twenty third of May. So that is why the markets were negative in this time frame. Okay. So I think twenty twenty we have discussed. Hmm. Now come to twenty twenty three. So you okay. know what I said. Once Saturn goes direct, its third aspect. Will reach to Pisces where Jupiter is sitting. So the fall will start with the banks. But the real game, whether inflation, currency war, geopolitical wars, supply side constraints, hmm. inflation, everything will reach to its pinnacle in twenty twenty three. Okay. So then January Saturn may. Will, then Saturn will enter Aquarius again. Oh. 
because when Saturn will enter Aquarius, it will have third aspect in Rahu, third on Rahu, which is negative. We'll see another round of big crash in Nasdaq, in IT stocks, in uh, cryptocurrencies, and exact degree. Aspect will happen in the month of May. May twenty three. May twenty three. So you know it is big big correction in IT. Lag is over. Let us see in October or November, uh, December, where it makes a wave B, and then the final nail in the coffin will happen. And it's uh, you know. Uh, it needs lot of courage to say the big tech will see the big pain in the month of april may 2023 they not only they will get exposed their resources will get curtailed they will their say in the matters of global importance will decline vertically their influence will be lost so you will see and all this cryptocurrency lovers across the world will be wiped out wow in 2020 yeah, do- dodge coin to the moon sab nahi reh jayega sir yes <laughs> so somewhere you know uh, in june 2023 we will start the third wave From the low of seven thousand five hundred and eleven, which may run for years. Right now, there is no need to go in detail of that. What time? How much time it will run? But definitely, Nifty will reach many milestones in two to three years after May twenty 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 three. So said- the second wave is my expectation will go from January to May. and that will not be a zigzag that will be a vertical fall and the highest fall will be in the month of may the exhaustion fall there will be transformation of the universe yani bahut hi exciting time pe hum log hain ji see last time also when i was talking of inflation hmm. people say mal to bikta nahi hai inflation तो सभी हाइक क्रिएट करते हैं they are using inflation as a tool to create fear mm-hmm. so the fear mongering is in full flow kyunki aaj jisne jo bola kal wo ho jata hai bol to dekha maine bola tha so in that kind of time frame we are so but i see the inflation see because our shastra clearly say whenever Saturn is the king of any samvat. The inflation will peak in the month of Shravan. So by early August, hmm. the inflation should peak out, and we will see a sharp decline in inflation between August and October. So, tell me, our Rishi Muniyo ne kitni important. I mean, beyond imagination, that this will be written. कि जब भी संवाद में सैटन किंग होगा तो इन्फ्लेशन राइज होगा टिल श्रवण मतलब आप सोच भी सकते हैं कि आप ये किताब में लिखा होगा कितने फ्यूचरिस्टिक कितने रिसर्च ओरिएंटेड कितने ज्यादा हार्ड वर्किंग तपस्वी काइंड के अपने एंसेस्टर्स थे सर अमेजिंग सर और आप बहुत ही अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं ब्रिज बना रहे हैं उन एंसेस्टर्स के बीच में उन ऋषि मुनियों के बीच में और एक कॉमन आदमी के बीच में यू आर जस्ट बिल्डिंग अ ब्रिज सो वी आर वी आर फॉर एवर ग्रेटफुल फॉर यू सर मतलब हमको इंटरेस्ट आया और हमको कभी पता नहीं था कि इतना भी कुछ होता है मतलब होता है कि चलो देखते हैं लेट्स एक्सप्लोर दिस फील्ड ऑल्सो बट इतना ज्यादा हमारे शास्त्रों में लिखा हुआ है अमेजिंग सर माइंड ब्लोइंग है ये तो थैंक यू 
सर हम लोग सारे प्लैनेट्स और नक्षत्र की बात करते हैं लेकिन मेरा ना मतलब मैं ज्यादा जानता नहीं हूँ बट स्टिल एक जो मिसिंग लगता है इन सब चीजों में हम सर मून की बात कभी नहीं करते हैं इज मून नॉट दैट इम्पोर्टेंट है ना मून इज मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज इट इज वर्किंग ट्वेंटी फोर बाई से हाउ अरे मानस नया है ना उसको नहीं पता कि तिथि मून की वजह से ही हो रही है कि <laughs> मून तो अल्टीमेटली मैसेंजर है ना सबका सब कुछ वही तो कर रहा है सी द बिग प्लेनेट गिव यू द प्लेटफॉर्म द मिडिल साइज प्लेनेट लाइक मर्क्यूरी मार्स एंड वीनस गिव यू ए टाइम फ्रेम बट मून का धमाल तो रोज होता है अच्छा मून मून एज ए डिफरेंट रिजल्ट एवरी डे जो एकादशी अष्टमी सर जो बता रहे हैं वो ये सारा चीज मून से ही आता है ये छह तिथि भी क्या है मून से ही रिलेटेड है हाँ चौदह जून भी तो पूर्णिमा है हाँ तो पूर्णिमा के दिन ही बाजार बॉटम आउट होना चाहिए वहीं से बाजार चलेगा दस बजे राहु चेंज हो रहा है तो आपने एकदम डिटेल में सब बता दिया कि किस डेट को किस लेवल्स पे किस सेक्टर्स पे फोकस करना है किस दिशा में फोकस करना है मतलब इससे ज्यादा आप मतलब इससे ज्यादा अगर हम आपके बगल भी बैठे होते तो हम पूछ भी नहीं सकते कि बिना पूछे सर आपने सब कुछ बता दिया देखिए इट्स वेरी सिंपल आई रोट समिंग ऑन ट्विटर आई रिपीट इट हियर दिस ए प्रोफेसर इन कॉलेज हु टीचर्स यू नो physics hmm. the students become you know ceos in multinationals they become scientists but the teacher remains teacher in the college hmm. job of the teacher is to teach hmm. so the world should remember one thing let the teacher remain a teacher because unless he survives nobody will gain anything so survival of teacher is the most vital part of the entire process like professor teaching economics in the college people so many people become big in the field of finance yes sir but the job of teacher is to make people what is their potential mm-hmm. in their particular fields if job ends there then they have to explore their own potential same thing is here i am sharing whatever the small knowledge i have to mm-hmm. explore and use it and make money a job of all others directly mm-hmm. it is not my job well when when uh, how krishna krishna said in gita like my uh, job is to show you the way you have to work it upon yourself you have to take the effort yes see what i told you if you are good at your system hmm. this science empowers you hmm absolutely to become more capable more capable this is the contribution of this science hmm so anybody focus just on buy yourself is a new sense i avoid it completely hmm sir to uh, Yeah. हम तो ब्राह्मण है कोई व्यापारी बनिया तो है नहीं जॉब ऑफ द ब्राह्मण इज टू शेयर द नॉलेज यस सर अभी हमारे ऊपर उस नॉलेज को कैसे लेके उसको इंस्ट्रूमेंट करना नॉट एन ऑपरेटर और ए स्पेकुलेटर ठीक है फॉर लिविंग वी आल्सो डू समथिंग समवेयर वी मेक मनी समवेयर वी लूज मनी दैट इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ द गेम but if you tell the truth to the people some people get too hurt because the human nature is to throw their responsibility on others mm-hmm. but once you take this knowledge in positive way use it use your system with the added features you are going to grow nobody can stop you now suppose suppose tenth i am telling you it will be a negative day hmm 
I gave you the reason for that. Mm. Now you follow, focus on your system. If if your system give you a cell signal, take decision. Take decision. Mm. Why call me, sir? Ye le lu kya, sir? Wo phas gaya hu. Kya karu? Why you are wasting your time and money on that? Mm. So what is most important? Your your own trading system. Nothing can replace that. Itna jaane ke baad bhi aap ye kehte hain ki follow your trading system. It's it's a big thing. No, hona hi chahiye na. Aapka aapka system aapko signal de raha hai. और जो मैंने बोला है वो आपको लगता है कि ऐसा हो रहा है तो उसके बाद भी आप जजमेंट आप डिसीजन नहीं लेते हैं तो यू आर गोइंग टू सफर देर इज नोट टू थॉट अबाउट इट यू नो सर कभी कभी लोग ईगो लगा लेते होते जैसे देर मस्ट बी सम हेटर जो ईगो लगा लेते हैं कि नहीं सर आप सर ने तो सेल बोला है मैं तो जबरदस्ती बाय ही करूंगा जस्ट बिकॉज कोई किसी ने कुछ और कहा है ईगो लगा लेते हैं हर तरह के लोग हम लोग हम लोग सोशल मीडिया में है ईगो एंड एरोगेंस so it's so common nowadays hmm. but you know i'll tell you one thing yes sir that is my observation 95% of people are simple they are good listeners and then you know they never talk uh, bad words about anyone sir to just to summarize and make it easy for the viewers uh, what will be your top uh, three sector picks कि ये तीन सेक्टर है लाइक अब द रेस्ट ऑफ ऑल टू मेक इट जस्ट टू मेक इट सिंपल फॉर द व्यूअर्स जी जी बेसिकली द थ्री टैक्स सेक्टर सर ऑटोमोबाइल एफ एम सी जी एंड पी एस यू बैंक यू नो लास्ट टाइम इफ यू रिमेंबर वी आर टॉक ऑन कोल इंडिया एन टी पी सी टाटा पावर वी आर देवर इन सेप्टेंबर वेयर दे रीच इन अक्टूबर इन द मार्केट क्रैश क्रैश स्टिल दे आर फोर्टी टू सिक्सटी परसेंट हायर देन देयर प्राइसिस ऑन फिफ्थ ऑफ अक्टूबर तो यू नो पावर सेक्टर कंटिन्यूज टू बी माई फेवरेट वेल इन्वेस्टेड इन दैट ओके टाटा मोटर इज माई लॉन्ग टर्म बैट EVs are good. EVs, you know, is covered by sun also because it is energy, and is covered by Venus also because of its looks, fascination. So EVs are good. Sir, you have told me that when the sun goes to Aquarius, then sorry, Saturn Aquarius, then the reality will boom. I mean, next year will be year for reality. तो जब फोर्टीन ऑफ जून जब अनुराधा का राहु वेद करेगा और पर्टिकुलरली शनि संवत का राजा भी है तो चौदह जून से अच्छी तेजी आनी चाहिए रियलिटी में अच्छा बट अगेन आई एम सेंग दैट टाइम ऑल्सो आई सेट एंड टूडे ऑल्सो सेंग रियलिटी इज नॉट फॉर ट्रेडिंग रियलिटी इज प्योर प्योर इन्वेस्टमेंट यू नो वेन एवर देर इज ए फॉल इन द मार्केट कीप बाइंग वेन एवर आई टोल्ड लास्ट टाइम ऑल्सो माई स्टाइल i buy something if it goes up appreciate by 40 50 60% 60%, i do the partial bookings so my cost is reduced if it again falls i can add it back yes hmm. so that is how to survive in the adverse circumstances so sir agar dekhe to hum log jaise dlf bhi ek major support pe hai tata steel bhi ek major support pe hai 1070 support pe hai aur bahut sare aise stock jinka aapne naam liya hai sare ke sare ek bahut hi ek zone pe hai ek hi level ki baat nahi hai ek pure critical zone pe hai chahe wo upar jaise 200 moving average ke paas koi koi hai koi cip matlab position support ke paas koi koi hai to any we have to watch out these sector se abhi aapne automobile ki baat kari mahindra and mahindra ne abhi isne all time high ka breakout kar raha hai 1000 background number ka breakout kar raha hai तो so, ये सारे जो भी जिन जिन सेक्टर्स की सर आपने बात करी है ना वो वो बहुत ही अच्छे क्रिटिकल जोन बहुत ही अच्छे लेवल्स के अराउंड है तो अगर मतलब उसके अकॉर्डिंग हम लोग अपना अलर्ट सेट करके बैठ सकते हैं टाइम के अगर टाइम से पहले भी अगर कुछ आता है मतलब क्योंकि आप जैसे बता रहे एक दो दिन प्लस माइनस हो सकता है तो अगर मान ली टाइम के चौदह जुलाई के पहले भी चौदह जून के पहले भी अगर अपने पास पे सिग्नल आता है एक अच्छा खासा हमारा सिस्टम बोलता है आपने कहा ट्रेडिंग सिस्टम अगर आपका बोलता है बाय करने के लिए तो वी कैन बाय ऑन दो सेक्टर्स राइट Okay. See the outperformer will always, you know, 
you will always witness the buying in them from their lows much prior to the market bottoms out. Hmm. Much prior. They may not rise big prior to market uh, start rising, hmm. but I will give you the example. Last ten uh, days, you have seen very good buying in Canada Bank from one eighty five to two hundred and sixteen. Hmm. So the stock and sector will, you know, they show where they are heading. Hmm. So once the, they are a positive time start, they can have the fresh bre- fresh breakouts. I am having Maruti on radar, you know, because I see in my view the volume in automobile should rise in a big way in the next few months. But volume as in trading volume, ki jo road pe volume, what road no, pe manufactured and sales volumes. Oh, okay. and jo sir, abhi chip ki shortages ki so, baat ho rahi, wo sab ka malab impact. हाँ तो मारुति है टाटा मोटर है गुड स्टॉक्स ऑल हैज टू फोकस ऑन देयर सिस्टम टू देयर सिस्टम इंडिकेट द बाइंग दे कैन बाई नॉट बिकॉज आई एम सेइंग और आई हैव बॉट इट आई एम होल्डिंग टाटा मोटर फ्रॉम 2020 यू नो लास्ट टाइम आल्सो आई टोल्ड शुगर so they will have correction some day they had a good correction so now is the healthy prices our sugar from the low of 70 rupees went to the high of 887 mm. and now you are it is available near 600 mm, it is so it has seen the good correction and that to at 200 moving average yeah एंड ऑन सॉन्ग सॉन्ग के मैं तब से वेट कर रहा हूँ एनी एनी ऑफ योर फेवरेट चॉइस मैं कहीं कभी न बन जाऊ तेरे प्यार में ओ कविता मैं कहीं कभी न बन जाऊ तेरे प्यार में ओ कविता मैं कहीं कभी न बन जाऊ तुझे दिल के मैंने बार बार देखा तुझे दिल के आईने मैंने बार बार देखा तेरी अखड़ियों में देखा तो छलकता प्यार देखा तेरा तीर में देखा तो जिगर के पार देखा मैं कहीं कभी न बन जाऊ तेरे प्यार में वो कविता मैं कहीं कभी न बन जाऊ थैंक यू अरे तो जितने भी कविता वाले लोग हैं ना वो लोग स्पेशली कमेंट जरूर करना और मेरा कैमरे बंद सो सर थैंक यू अगेन अपनी प्रेजेंस से अपने नॉलेज से अपनी इनसाइट से हम लोगों को ब्लेस करने के लिए आपने ना ही केवल ट्रेडिंग का मंत्र भी बता दिया कि फॉलो करना है अपना ही सिस्टम बट आपका एडवांटेज आपकी नॉलेज का एडवांटेज हम लोग ले सकते हैं और सर आपकी जो तपस्या है आपकी जो मेहनत है आपने जो इतना पढ़ा पढ़ा हुआ है लोगों से मिला हुआ है और साथ ही साथ आपको इंटरलाइज करके जो आप फ्यूचर इन्विजन करते हैं ना दैट इज समथिंग क्रेजी सर मतलब हम लोग चाह के भी इस, इस लेवल तक ना ही सोच पाते हैं और ना ही उस लेवल तक कभी You know, we don't know the step number one, step number two, step number three. How can we get to that point? So, sir, amazing. Thank you again, sir. And as you are, we are blessed with you. We will be able to get to you again. After six months, after twelve months, after sir, now tell us what we are going to do. And also, viewers, please, sir, keep the age, sir, the mindset, sir, the time. Keep 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 the time. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Okay, sir. Thank you again. Thank you, sir. of your about your growth thank, thank you, you sir always will sir always will thank you thank you